insist, Kim. And do I need to remind you that I am a member of this family? But she asked not to be disturbed. I mean, no disrespect, Mrs. Lord. I am sorry, but I Jenny, have to please get rid of her. All right, all right, we'll think about how to do that. Right. I, I, I don't care how you do it, but I can't deal with her now, Dorian, of all people. I can't see. Right, I just can't. You know what? We'll just leave, and we'll go see Dr. Paul. I can't see Dr. Paul. We will go see him. No, Jenny, I'm not ready. Please. Would you rather deal with Dorian? Please, we can get over there. We'll call Clint from the office, and you'll be able to see. We'll, 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 oh, please, Mrs. Lord. Ah! There you are, Vicky. I'm sorry, we're just leaving for an appointment, if you'll excuse us. No, not at all. I need to see you, Vicky, immediately. Sorry, Mrs. Buchanan. Th th that's all right, Kim. I, I tell you what, why don't you go and uh, see if the children have finished dinner? Sure. Thank you. Maybe, Vicky. I wish that you would instruct the servants. Kim, well, I is so... not a servant, Dorian. She's a member of this household. Yes? Well, no matter. I am a member of this family. And I would assume when I come here... What I'm is it that you to... want, Dorian? We have an appointment, and if you and don't mind... We have to leave, Dorian. Yes, right maybe now, you can right? call tomorrow or something. It won't wait. Vicky, I must see you. I only need to talk to you for ten minutes alone. Vicky. Oh, all right, all right. Whatever yeah. it is, let's get it over with, Dorian. I know. I, 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 it's Come all right. on. Jenny, would you stop interfering? You heard what Vicky just said. It's all right. Are you sure? Yes. <sighs> would you mind shutting the door as you leave, please? I'll be in the study. Thanks, Jen. Vicki, you have to listen to me, because this is truly your last chance. What are you saying? I thought I was making myself very clear, but I am saying that unless you concede that Tina has a right to use the Lord name, that she has a right to a share of your father's estate, you are going to be subjected to a public scandal. Not only that, a lawsuit which you will probably lose along with your good reputation. You're making this sound like it's an ultimatum, Dorian. No, it's not. It's just a statement of fact. Honestly, Vicky, I am just trying to help you face <laughs> reality. I'm trying to help you be Why? Sad. Why are you so suddenly concerned with my well-being? Oh, you know, I really could be offended by that remark. But I know that you have not been yourself lately. So I have often in the past tried to reach out to you, and so many times you have refused my friendship and my help. I see. So there is no uh, self-interest involved here, right? Yes, there is. I would like to see your father's name spared, <coughs> and so much as it is possible. Well, why didn't you stop Tina when you had the chance, Dorian? Why did you help her in distributing that disgusting letter of hers and in broadcasting that fraudulent claim of hers? You have championed her cause from the very beginning. You've never given a thought to preserving my father's good name. Now you have the effrontery to come here to harass me and badger me. No, to make you face the truth, for goodness sakes. Vicky, your father, and believe me, it hurts me to have to tell you this, but your father was not the man that you thought he was. He most certainly was not the man that I thought that I married. There was a dark, sordid side to Victor's nature. Please, Dorian. I can't hear this now. Get out. Not until I've made you see the truth, Vicky. <sighs> okay, I really didn't want it to be this way. But the truth is only a few feet away. Where? Well, what are you talking about? It's right there. Behind the bookcase. What on earth are you talking about? Vicky, there is a room behind that bookcase. A room that nobody knew about. Except, of course, your dear, sainted father. I don't believe you. Of course you don't. I didn't believe it myself until I saw the room with my own eyes. Why? What 
for. Exactly. Why would Victor build such a room in this house? It's the dark side of the moon. There was a dark side of your father's nature that nobody ever saw, nobody even suspected was there. <laughs> Who knows? Perhaps Tina was even conceived in that room. You've seen this room? Yes. And believe me, I was shocked. But eventually I came to accept the reality, as you will someday. Dorian, you're lying to me. No, Vicky, I'm not. Get out I'm of not. my house. Get out of no, my house. No, not until Please. I have made you face reality. Okay. I didn't want to do it this way. But I must make you see. I brought these along. The way you used to be able to get into the room was with a certain Chinese figurine. Uh -huh. Fortunately, that got broken, so I'm going to have to make do with this. Oh. Ah! There we are. All right, Peggy. After you. I can understand your shock, Vicky. I felt it myself. But if you'll just come with me, I'll show you the room. Dear God. Kevin. Kevin told us he saw this bookcase open. We told him he was imagining things. <laughs> it's just as well. How did you find out about this? From Tina. She discovered the room when she was living here. Tina, from Tina. Yes, and that's where she found the letter from Victor telling you that Tina was his daughter by Irene Manning. I can't go in there, Dorian. Vicky, do you honestly think by walking away from here you're going to make that secret room disappear? Do you think that you can run away from reality? If you would just go into that room I think that a lot of things would become very clear to you. It will resolve a lot of things in your mind. It won't be pleasant. But it's better that you discover it for yourself instead of hearing it from Tina in a public courtroom. Vicky? Follow me. <laughs> 